Hello, ladies and gentlemen, as always, Brennan Mister here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how I multi-box. This is like my 10th time trying to record this. I've spent the last, let's check, uh, two and a half hours trying to do this recording, and I'm trying to make it like as short as possible and as quick as possible. So I'm just going to do as everything as fast as I can. I want to apologize for any wonky audio things that go on and the crappy frame rate. I'm running five copies of World of Warcraft and recording all at the same time, so my computer can't really handle it until... I get my new processor and motherboard. Um, so let's talk about a few things. Um, let's talk about, first of all, my team. Um, and talk about team comps real quick. Um, if you've ever played League of Legends, it's pretty much the same thing. You want a proper team comp. You want... I mean, technically you don't need a proper team comp if you're running five of the same class, I guess. If... Like, I have a five druid team, um, and that seems to work all right. They're five moonkins, right? It's a pretty good team. Um, but if you want to be able to do dungeons fairly late without, like, any issues at all, you want tank healer. At the very least, you want a dedicated healer. I could probably do this for DPS shaman in Holy Paladin, but with what heirlooms I had, I decided to go with this. Um... And the reason why is you want similar skills on the same button. I have four Elemental Shaman. That means I have four Chain Lightnings, or four Thunderbolts for a single target. And so I lined that up with my single target tanking ability, Crusader Strike. So when I'm walking up, let's say, I don't know, I'm fighting some guy right here. I just spam my one button, and my tank's going to do a single target ability. And during that cast time that they're casting Thunderbolt, I can cast other stuff or click other abilities. Um, typically I don't click because I have to heal with this thing right here, which I'll get to in a little bit. And also, so yeah, there. when I'm doing single target on my tank, I'm doing single target on my Shaman. When I'm AoEing on my tank with Hammer of the Righteous, they're casting Chain Lightning. When I use my Judgment, my Instant Cast, they're using their Instant Casts. Uh, flame shock currently and then on their four button they have uh, lava burst because it procs off of flame shock and um, avenging rat or avenger avenger shield sorry has a proc also so pretty much if i see any proc on any of these screens i just hit four i just like start spamming four so as soon as it's up it's procced and then i can go back to casting um and then once you get used to it, you can kind of figure out how long you can wait to see if you get a second proc. Typically, I don't even use the proc if it's just one, unless it's my paladin. And then like five, I have my AoE. Then six, Concentrate, and they lay down totems. Which I typically don't do. Typically, I click Concentration. Um, so that's pretty much all. And like, that will imbue their weapons. And that will turn on... Uh, their shields. How do I get them to follow? Alt F. Nice and easy. I can hit control space if they get stuck on something when we're running. Um, or if they get stuck, I can just, you know, move back to, let's see, there's a wall there. I can just run back here, control F, they'll move towards me. Nice and easy. Now, you see that it says follow broken, and that's what these down here I use for. You can use a button, like let's say I don't use T for anything. Um, I could use T to all just make him move forward one step, which would break follow. Um, I like having the option to have T there for if I ever need it to keep on an ability. Um, and it's not too hard to, before you're getting into like a, uh, a fight, to just hit that. But it might be nice to have something that will just move them all forward a few feet. Control F and they all move forward. Um, so let's go ahead and do some fighting real quick. And then I'll kind of explain the healing after this next pull. Three people here, nice and easy. Super easy since none of these guys do anything like super dangerous. So what I would do is I'm going to break follow. Typically I do this a lot faster, but since I'm showing you guys, um, I'm going to run up. I'm going to use what abilities I can that won't draw aggro, which won't use any abilities on my slaves. Get some heals up and then start spamming my chain lightning since there's more than three. Or sorry, more than two. And that's just going to rip straight through these guys. Then heal myself whenever it gets slow. 
and voila, nice and easy. So what this is doing is there's this thing called uh, video feed. What it's doing is it's creating a box here, which I set up. You can see the box here. And then when I go to this character, I can set it to view. So it's viewing. And then I click the repeater pass through. And so what that does is if I hit shift alt R, I have this mouse thing. That's how um, I can do things like open up the spell book on all of them, open up the character slot, open up their bags to mass sell everything. Um, that's how I join queues. I would start it and then accept their roles and then accept it all at the same time using uh, shift alt R. Um, and what this does is it pretty much shift uh, shift all R's this small box and only for this one guy um, but let's say I wanted to see um, all of my other characters cast bars I could do a single one for all of them and put them like right here or something which might be something I do in the future um, but you can kinda see how this works pretty simple it's pretty much just having this person's healing add-on, my healer's healing add-on, on my screen. Simple as that, um, using a video feed. Um, and that is pretty much it, to be honest. There isn't much more than that, um, except for like looting, I guess, um, in quests, which I don't do quests, I only do the dungeon quests. Um, but let's say I need, this guy's a boss, right, and he drops uh, an eyeball that I need. If I hit Alt G, all of these guys will try to loot. I don't think there's any loot for these guys to pick up. There we go, that guy looted. Um, let's go do a boss, actually, so I can show you how to do a boss. Uh, there's just like one more pack and oh, this entire room. Yeah. Um, I'll get back to you once I get to that boss. Okay, so here is our boss fight. We are going to be fighting Prince Keliseth. And what I'm going to be doing is I'm actually going to stand these guys. Um, I don't know how I want to stand these guys. Um, he does a freezing ability, so I guess if I stack them, that would be best. Um, I think I might stack them close by, though. Um, yeah, we're going to go ahead and stack these guys nice and close by. So I'm going to use a few abilities. Um, to keep him nice and close and now I'm gonna break their follow right here um, the reason why I decided to uh, do this this way is that way I can maneuver my guys so that I don't have to worry about um, frost tomb right there um, I can go ahead and handle that and then that all of these ads come straight for me nice and easy and there we go And some big heals dropped a little low there. Not too worried about it. Had a few procs right there. I have ice tomb on myself, so I'm gonna just click on my own tomb and break that nice and easy. These guys are gonna re-res. Throw my AoEs out. Um, and that easy. And here's what I was talking about with the uh the looting a boss if, is if I hit Alt G, they'll all move forward and try to loot them. You can kind of see it on all these guys at screen, and that's why I have it on Master Looter. So that's really all there is to show, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please comment, rate, subscribe, and all that kind of good stuff. And uh, I have a few video ideas in mind with uh, after me doing this. So until next time.